Hello and welcome to this YouTube channel for ACCA FR exam prep. My name is Eden. In this video, I will be taking you through how to account for a warranty provision. So how do we measure a warranty provision where there is a large population of outcome? So we use what we call the expected value approach to measure the provision. So let's look at the question. Always we start with a requirement. How much should be provided for repairs? So, CBB Co. sells for the year R, sells for the year R, 40 million. They anticipate that 60% of goods would not be 40. 30% would need minor repairs, which will cost. 2 million to repair if all the items sold suffer from such a problem and 10% of goods would need major repair which would cost 4 million to repair if all the items sold suffer from such a problem. So the question is to we account for a provision? In meeting the criteria for a liability, we say there should be a present obligation. Now, the present obligation is that CBB is committed to repairing, so there is commitment to repairing uh, 40 boosts. 40 goods. So once there is this commitment, we say that there is a present obligation. Now the next question is, can we measure it? Is it probable? So can we measure, is it probable? Yes, it's probable based on history. And then can we measure, yes, we use what we call the expected value which will give us the best estimate of value to give us the best estimate of value now how do you measure that best estimate is by looking at the probabilities now we're told that they anticipate that 60 percent of goods will not be 40. however 30 percent will need major repairs which will cost two million so we are looking at the fact that if 60% will not be 40, then it means that 60% of the goods will require no cost. So we are looking at 0 0.6 times 0 dollars because we are finding the expected values. And 30% of the goods when they are returned would have a cost of two million so what we do is 30 percent times the cost of two million and then finally 10 percent when they are returned and all we need major repairs we have four million so the expected cost of all of these repairs which is 0 0.1 times 4 million. So when we put all of these together, this of course is 0, so it's not a problem. So 2 times 0.2, that is 20% probability. So look at it, uh, 2 times 0.2, that will give us 0 0.4 million, plus 4 times 0.1, that will give us also 0 0.4 now it means that the total provision CBB should account for should be 0 0.8 million, which is 800,000. So it means that in a year end, in PNL, they will expand provision. 
for warranty. So, so here is it's a debit. So here we are looking at a debit. And because of provision, which is a liability, so we'll credit provision for warranty. 800,000. So just notice what we have done. Whenever we are accounting for a provision for warranty, we take the expected values from all the possible cost of outcome. We had 60% at no cost. We had 20% uh, at place. This is 30%, 30%, not 20%, 30%. So let me quickly change that. 2 times 0.3. That's 0 0.6, sorry, 0 0.6. So this will give us 1 million instead of the 800. So this will be 1 million. So here is 1 million. So the expense will be 1 million, not the 800 because of the percentage. Now, the reason I've done this is that the total population or probability should give you 100. Because if you have 60 plus 30 plus 10, it should be equal to 100%. That's how we find the probabilities. So I hope this helps you in your preparation for the exam as to how to account for warranty. Please subscribe to this channel to receive updates on new videos.